Okay, guys, this is just a quick rundown of uh, what you're going to get and what you're going to see with Ninja Mass, um, the basic facts program. Okay, so there's uh, three options that you can have. There is Ninja Mass, the original. That's really for upper school, probably around year four to six, four to seven. Uh, Ninja Math Junior, that's uh, for your lower school in the primary school, one, years one and two and three. Foundation Ninja, that's more for your KP area. Okay, so I might just start with the original Ninja Maths quickly. And if you, if I just go into that folder, um, I'm just going to show you what you'll get now. The key to the program is a couple of things, but um, probably the main thing is the ninja cards. So if I go in here, these are the ninja cards, the ninja rankings, and when they gain a new ninja ranking, you will give them a new laminated card. They get pretty pumped about that, don't you worry. And um, a good way of explaining it I heard recently was if you got that card, that's the ninja you are battling. So once you defeat that ninja and you move up the rankings, you get a new opponent. So that's pretty cool. Um, just some people have asked me about printing out the cards. If you print out the cards, all you need to really do is just go right click, print. And then if you scroll down, uh, if you're using a PC, you're going to see wallet size. And then you'll see one. But if you want to print a lot, uh, let's say nine or more, I would suggest printing more Genin because at the start, a lot of times the kids are in Gen. And then if you click print, you're going to be able to print those. Definitely a good idea to cut out and then laminate. Your cards are going to last you years rather than weeks. So those are the cards. There's lots of different cards um, and rankings that they can go up. There is a Miss and Ninja, which is an extra card. How you use Miss Ninja is explained if you choose in your uh, explanation. So if I go back out, you'll see that uh, you get an explanation of how to run Ninja Maths or how I would do it or how I did do it. And it talks about why it works. It talks about the implementation. It talks about homework if you choose that, other areas. And then down the bottom, you got Miss Ninja. So if you want to run Miss Ninja, have a look at that explanation. Um, yeah, you also get obviously a ranking ninja ranking poster. You would print this out and laminate it, refer it to it. So if he gets kid, if a child gets below forty, they're going to get a genin card between forty and sixty chunin, and on the way up the rankings, you'll be surprised how far they can get. They definitely get a lot further than me. Uh, yeah, you get a ninja rec record sheet. So in this one, it's just a, a place for the kids to write down. And keep track of their scores it's good to make sure you get the first and last score of the term definitely because that shows you how far they've come all right uh the last thing i'll show you guys is our, obviously our wonderful excel document and how this works you got the tabs you got the four operations multiplication division subtraction and addition i would focus on one of these a term uh, i think that's the best to give the chance the kids the best chance of improvement the beauty of it is if you hold down a function if you must do that and press f9 or just F9, function key 9, you can keep randomizing and it will create a new sheet every single time you do it. So it's never repeated. This is the questions for the kids. Down the bottom, you've got the answers. I would print out as half as many answers um, and then give them to the kids to swap and mark if you want to do that just for efficiency reasons. So obviously, like I said, you've got division, you've got subtraction, you've got addition. So you can focus on whichever one of those you please. Um, all right, so that is the regular ninja math. Why does it work? You might ask. It works because of motivation. The kids are pumped. They want to. They want sheets to take home. They're going to go home and practice because they want to defeat that ninja. They want to move up the rankings. They want the new ninja card. I get them to stick it at the top of their desk with a blue tack and represent. Um, so yeah, it's a great time. So then we go out. Uh, if I go back, let's have a look here. All right, so from here, we're going to go into, oh, that's that one there. We're going to go into Ninja Math Junior. Okay, so Ninja Math Junior, if I go to that, double click. And then we, we've got pretty similar, but you've got a couple of Excel docs. Okay, so you've got year three. And in year three, there's a bunch of options. Let's get that thing to load up. If you look down the bottom along the tabs, you've got, many many tabs okay so you got you've got division if I can't roll up you got division you got multiplication two three four five and ten you've got regular multiplication you got bonds to twenty uh subtraction addition subtraction twenty to twenty missing parts near doubles 
it's almost infinite what you get with that one. Okay, so you get a lot. So you can focus on a lot of different things with that one. For junior, so that's maybe your ones and twos. It's very similar as well, but a bit uh, more simplified. Bonds to 10, missing parts, addition. Uh, let's, let's fix that up. Addition. Oops. Okay, so uh, doubles, near doubles, missing parts. Again, a multitude. Okay, so... A lot of different options there for the juniors. And the same thing again, you get your rankings. Uh, it's a little bit different, a little bit easier. And again, you get your cards. They're different cards, okay? So the ninja cards are different for each um, each program. And then Foundation Ninja, okay? So I've got a few different posters depending on what you want to do with Foundation Ninja. And obviously you get your Foundation Ninja cards. Very cute. Um, we come back out here um, we'll go into the Excel doc and there's a few different options that's why I've got a few different posters for you guys for that okay so you've just got similarly you've got addition 20 questions there's 25 questions next number again you can randomize so you press F9 it's going to randomize at each time okay next two numbers uh, and then there's a bunch more uh, down here. These ones are, if they get that, they get the card. Okay, so it's, that's just a different one, different way. That's why there's a different poster. But you can do it how you please, whatever suits you. That's the beauty of Ninja Maths. A lot of people do it in a lot of different ways. Okay, for me, I would run it on a Friday. It takes three minutes. Um, I give out my cards, which takes a couple of minutes. And then, you know, within five to ten minutes, it's over. But the kids are pumped and they love the ninjas, they love the cards, they want to work hard to get better and that's what we want and, and, and I, I personally not seeing kids uh, for some reason they don't compare they look at, they just concentrate on their own improvement because everyone's improving every single person in the class improves which is amazing and they see that growth which creates motivation and, and builds their growth mindset because their the feedback loop is so quick from one week to the next they're getting better so yeah that's basically it guys that's my quick I don't know how long this has been, but a few minutes spiel on how to do that. And uh, those are the three programs. So if you have any other questions, just let me know.